Today, I wanted to talk about Annihilation, the 2014 novel from Jeff Vandermeer. The novel follows our narrator, known only as the biologist, who finds herself a part of the 12th expedition into the mysterious Area X. The description that sold me on Annihilation comes from the author himself. Area X has been cut off from the rest of the continent for decades. Nature has reclaimed the last vestiges of human civilization. The first expedition returned with reports of a pristine, Edenic landscape. All the members of the second expedition committed suicide. The third expedition died in a hail of gunfire as its members turned on one another. The members of the 11th expedition returned as shadows of their former selves, and within months of their return, all had died of aggressive cancer. This is the 12th expedition. Their group is made up of four women, an anthropologist, a surveyor, a psychologist, the de facto leader, and our narrator, a biologist. Their mission is to map the terrain and collect specimens, to record all their observations, scientific and otherwise, of their surroundings and of one another, and above all, to avoid being contaminated by Area X itself. To me, Annihilation is an absolute masterclass of storytelling. And that's not something I throw around lightly. I can't remember the last time I was as captivated with a novel as I was with Annihilation. On top of it being stylish and atmospheric in all of the right ways, it's also genuinely thought-provoking, in a way that not many science fiction novels are. And like all the best science fiction, it explores its concepts thoroughly. And although the concepts Jeff Vandermeer explores with this novel are ponderous and frankly a little abstract, they still carry a remarkable relevance and significance to the world we currently live in. The concept that the author returns to most frequently in the novel is this concept that the world is ever changing and evolving. Societal change, ideological change, ecological change, economic change. These are all things we, as a people, have become deeply accustomed to. We live in a rapidly changing world, but what if something were to happen? Something that fundamentally changed the way we look at the world and trivialized everything we were accustomed to? What would we do next? How would we react to that? And throughout the novel, Jeff Vandermeer explores that concept thoroughly and thoughtfully. And the way the author contextualizes this exploration is actually really interesting. Instead of building up an extensive, complex world and a multitude of three-dimensional characters, Jeff Vandermeer chose to build up only a single character, the biologist, and a small coastal region, Area X. You see, Area X is an enigma an unexplained and even dangerous anomaly. But in a lot of ways, Area X simply represents change, and the 12th expedition is just humanity's next attempt at understanding that change. And all of this plays out behind an almost dreamlike fog that allows for a level of abstraction, like a pane of safety glass between the reader and the story they're about to experience. And I actually think that's hugely important. By having a sort of safety glass for the readers, the author is able to explore concepts and questions that may be outside of our collective comfort zone. And by God, it's hard to talk about this novel without spoiling anything. Annihilation is supposed to be mysterious, high-concept science fiction. The way it explores concepts and the way it presents those explorations to the reader is so central to the experience that talking about it in more detail would only serve to lessen its impact. 
At the end of the day, Annihilation is one of my favorite novels of the past few years. It's a thoughtful and captivating exploration of our changing world, and an absolute masterclass of storytelling. 